Hi, I'm Manny Cohen from Armadillo, uh, and we're here at RegTech, and uh, really good day so far. Uh, excellent exhibition, and uh, we're really pleased to be here to talk to such a really quality level of people. We've been in the industry for 21 years. We celebrate 21 years of our online system on the web uh, in two weeks' time, on the 3rd of June. And uh, we're the oldest online system on the internet. And some say we were the first. And we're forefathers of the Shoreditch tech revolution. Uh, and we're now sort of moved out, and as you do, when, when you start to succeed and grow. And uh, we're supplying uh, all sorts of data and uh, reports as well on up to 350 million companies worldwide. And you can also get them instantly on an app and be anywhere in the world and get information from us on your clients. It's great, that's what we're all about. For instance, in the UK and Europe, uh, we now have the uh, fourth directive on money laundering that's come out. And what that does is, is a lot of change has happened within the tech market. So where before, for instance, a pet, a politically exposed person, uh, had to be somebody from overseas, a politician from overseas, now it can be anyone in your own country. So even a local councillor is a pet. And, and every regulated business, that's uh, banks, uh, finance houses, accountants, lawyers, uh, even jewellers and, and property companies have to check their clients. And if their clients are a politician of any kind, they have to do a, uh, um, enhanced due diligence. And enhanced due diligence is not just on them and a pet is not just uh, a politician. It's their mother, father, son, daughter, um, any close relative, any um, uh, close friend is also a pet. And everybody has to check into them to make sure that they've got all the documentation that they're not basically doing money laundering. Uh, and they have to prepare all this information before they take the client on and then also prepare it for um, the investigation, or let's say inspection, which often is an investigation, into any company by the regulators. And that's what we do. We actually help uh, prepare companies for the regulators. So we, we work with, from the very beginning, because we have a law firm as well, that can actually talk to a, a client and their clients and keep uh, attorney-client confidentiality so that allows us to uh, collate information, keep information on behalf of our clients, on the banks, the accountancy firms. We can supply that information to them. Their money laundering reporting officer makes a decision on whether they want to take them on. And if they do, they pass the file back to us and we do all the online data uh, checking on their systems, on, through our systems. It's grown at a massive rate. And also, uh, there are loads of startups coming in who are basically uh, covering programs that can access data systems like ours. Um, I don't know how long they'll last because there's so many of them, but people like us who hold real data uh, ultimately will be there long term. Okay. Well, the market's growing. It's growing at a massive rate because regulation has grown at a massive rate. Uh, so we're all in the real space in the right space this conference is at the right time regtech is the thing of the future certainly for the next few years as it grows in time it'll settle uh, as, a, as a market size but at the moment it's still growing at a great rate uh, i think it's contact with market it's people who are experts on, on and understanding what they're doing unfortunately what you're doing is you're getting a lot of just pure uh, software people coming who don't really understand the compliance industry uh, and you're talking uh, like the full thing from from uh, FCA regulated to um, uh, HMRC and solicitor regulatory authority so it's people who understand though that market they are the ones that are going to st just still be around in five years time and also blockchain uh, is, 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 is good technology but it, it's got to extend further because the amount of data you can pass on to the transaction is not enough you're gonna have a lot of change in the cryptocurrency world because uh, there was a period where people and the transactions were not regulated or they didn't know who actually were behind the transactions. So you're gonna have a problem with the cryptocurrencies uh, and then you'll find new cryptocurrencies that check out who they're actually working with. 
those are the ones that are going to be of value in five years time the current kyc data will grow ai will be used a lot more to make things much quicker because the market's going to be so big there aren't enough people it's too expensive to check out everything continuously by people so uh, it'll be more ai driven um, decisions with higher level decisions being passed to humans.